I would like to call this meeting to order. This meeting is being held in accordance with the public laws of 1975, Chapter 231, and adequate notice of this meeting has been provided by a notice sent to the Star Ledger, the local source, and posted in the main lobby of the municipal building and on the township website. I'd ask you all to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, and I would ask Committee Woman Du Bois to please lead us. Yes, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. I ask that you all please remain standing for a moment of silence for all those who serve our country both near and not so near. Thank you. Roll call, please. Mayor Capitis. Here. Deputy Mayor Kaiser. Present. Committee Woman Du Bois. Here. Committee Man <clears throat> Huber. Here. Committee Man Weber. Here. <laughs> thank you. Um, again, I'd like to thank everyone involved with the process of these meetings uh, for your flexible schedule. Um, we moved the meeting to 6 o'clock to uh, allow for uh, our clerk and her staff, staff of one, uh, to um, do her process and procedure for elections. Uh, just a reminder for those watching or viewing at home right now, if you have not done so, polls will close at 8 o'clock to vote for our school board referendum, our bond referendum. If you have not done so, there is still time. Uh, please do your duty when you can. Um, Townwide garage sale will be the weekend of March 18th and 19th with bulk pickup on Wednesday, March 22nd. Um, we've obviously contained bulk pickup for two days a year instead of the four to allow for uh, two time a week pickup to remain in the summertime with our new, new contract. We're just extending the option for those who wish to have a garage sale. If they want to do it, they could more than, than happily do it. Uh, Chisholm Playground Camp registration is open. Uh, community Pass at the website listed on the agenda. Please check out all the activities they have for a fun-filled summer. And finally, the Egg Hunt and Kite Fest will be held on Saturday, April 1st from 2 to 4, Chisholm Park with a rain date of Saturday, April 8th. Register for event announcements on Community Pass. Uh, any more announcements here, for Township Committee? All right, at this time, I'd like to open the meeting to public comment on agenda items only. Anyone with a public comment on agenda items only, please come to the microphone, state your name and address for the record. You'll have four minutes uh, to speak. Seeing no one from the public wishing to come forward to the microphone, I'm going to close the public comment portion of the meeting and move on to the administrative reports. Mr. Basicolo, good evening, sir. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. So I got a couple items I wanted to touch base with. I can't, how come I can't get, oh, I'm on, okay. Uh, we've had a mild winter, obviously, I think everyone knows, which has allowed us to get ahead on our parks. Our spring cleanup is, is mostly completed in the parks at this point, on our ball fields. Chisholm ball field was prepped and ready for softball practice to begin. The rest of the fields will be ready for baseball practice that starts on Monday. The netting for the bleachers at Ruby will be installed on Friday of this week, and we ordered screening for the batting cages, which is scheduled for next week. We have also, we're in the process of ordering a new scoreboard for Ruby, and we are looking at some infield clay for Ruby. That hasn't been finished yet, uh, if we're gonna do it or not this year, but we are at the field, we're looking at it, we got someone coming out to look at the field, see what it would take to get that done. We also started the engineering study for our I, &I projects for 2023. We awarded for Waverly and Glenview, road and manhole improvements was awarded to DLS, which was a low bidder at 187, 368. We got a community grant development uh, for 130,000. We have a pre-construction meeting with them on March 21st, and I will bring you up to date at the next meeting on what that pre-construction meeting shows. On our projects in town, our redevelopment, the Gomes project is still in the same location as it was, nothing has changed. Uh, we still have the stop work order on them. They have not repaired the items that were necessary to get the stop work order lifted at this point. 
Uh, our church mall project. The demo's been done at the church at the end of the street on the right-hand side. Sarah Bailey will be done in the next couple of weeks. So that project is moving. The Saks project is moving along nicely. We were up there. No issues at the moment with them. Uh, I think that's about it at the moment. Unless there's any questions or comments, I'd be happy to answer. Mr. Ring. Huber? <laughs> 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 Mr. Gomes, my favorite person. Yes. Um, when do we start taking a legal? We have to start taking a legal action. Like we that. had him in court this past, last week, I believe it was, on the, the fencing still. We had him in court. Their attorney had to leave at like 5.30, so it was not completed. And the next court date is, and I'm going from memory, was April 10th, Greg? Do you remember? I don't have to. Okay, I think, I think, it, think it was April, April 10th. 10. So we'll have them back in court on April 10th. And fines continue to mount. Well, whether the court finds in our favor and what the amount ends up being, I don't know that yet. In other words, I'm just saying, just say we, we find him $10,000 for something. And the court could say, no, it should only be 2,000. Can they do that? Yes. Okay, I, you know, I want nope. the people to understand that. I mean, we're hoping to get the most. Yes. Judge will establish what it is the penalty if they're found to yeah. be um, guilty of the okay. and and as I think everyone knows we did put on a new redevelopment attorney and he started just a couple of three weeks ago he's up to speed we brought him in gave him all of the paperwork all of the files on it so he is on it and he's already he'll give us an update at the next meeting that the mayor will be able to tell you what progress he's made in the past couple of weeks. Thank you. Not only not only is Mr. Basicolo in touch with our redevelopment attorney on a more than weekly basis, um, I have also requested our new redevelopment attorney to give us updates uh, every month so I can share with the public and the township committee about where we are because, again, this affects everybody and uh, we need to uh, be able to show and be transparent about what this progress is. Thank you. Anyone else for Mr. Basicolo? Seeing none, we'll move on to minutes and reports. Do I have a motion? Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the regular meeting minutes of December 27, 2022, as emailed. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Do I have a second? Yes, I'll second it. <clears throat> Weber. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. All right, we have ordinances for, we have two ordinances for second reading. Uh, first ordinance, Madam Clerk, would you read the ordinance by title? Ordinance 2023-01. This ordinance amends provisions in Chapter 2 of the Township Code regarding the organization of the Township's Police Department. I have a motion? Make a motion to adopt Ordinance 2023-01 as read by Madam Clerk. Second. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, publicized also in the local source, March 23rd, 2023. Second. Thank you. At this time, I will open the public public hearing portion of the meeting. Anyone wishing to speak on this ordinance, please come to the microphone. State your name and address for the record. You'll have three minutes to speak. Seeing none, I'm going to close the public hearing portion of the meeting. Uh, I know we talked about this at length um, uh, about a month and a half ago. We had to table it, uh, and that's why it didn't appear last meeting. But is there any further discussion on this? The only thing is my argument. We have right now, we could have 45 police officers on, which we have 43, 44, I don't know. So we still have one. I don't see the urgency to put it up to 50. That's my opinion. I mean, I back the police 100% to do a great job, but I just don't think it's, we have to do it right away. That's my opinion. I mean, I don't know how anybody else feels up here, but. Uh, I, I, I would join in uh, uh, in Committee Man Huber's uh, 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 opinion. Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't necessarily see a need for fifty. I, I, I'm I, I I have voted for I voted for it last time after seeing comparable towns. But I can assure you, it, uh, I'm I, I think I'm committed to getting to forty five this year. I think I made that commitment. But but. Going forward, I, I would not be in favor of adding additional police at this time uh, until redevelopment is, is, is finished and we can see adequate numbers that prove the need for uh, uh, additional officers at that time. So 
I, I, I will vote to, to in favor tonight, but uh, 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 I would not be uh, willing to add another officer yet. Anyone else? Do you want to speak to it? Anyone else want to speak? All right. I don't think voting yes tonight puts us in a position where we have to necessarily vote on, obviously, a significant number of additional police. So I think a vote yes can just mean that vote yes for the space, you know, the co the construct to do do it in the future. But that doesn't mean that's we're voting, you know, to go to that number. That's a that's a good way. I, I, yeah. Thank you for those words. <laughs> that's what I was looking. Yeah. So I I think we kind of agree on that. Yeah. Um in favor of uh, voting yes on it right now. At, at this point, uh, yes. Committed to getting another one within the next year. Um, satisfied that it lays the groundwork for what we're, we're trying to accomplish within the next five years. And uh, um, just hope everybody forgets that we're not going to be understaffed by six. Mm -hmm. We are preparing for the future, and we will be. Um, prepared according so when when it's time to hire other uh, officers so I'm a vote on a yes Put that version of the video thank you all right nope. deputy, De uh, deputy mayor Kaiser liked what committee woman Du Bois had to say I also uh, agree with committeeman Weber has to say in speaking with him and chief cook probably over the past year uh, this is, has been a long time in coming this is a very small part of an overreaching plan uh, for the police department holistically uh, as a whole, um, reminder to everybody up here and to the public, there's been, there can be no officers added or approved without this committee's blessing as a whole. And this is a, a, a preparatory measure that, again, I am in favor of. Um, and with that, I will move for a roll call, please. Committeeman Weber? Yes. Deputy Mayor Kaiser? Yes. Committee Woman Dubois? Yes. Committeeman Huber? Spring. Mayor Capitis? Yes. Ordinance passes on second reading. Ordinance 202306. This ordinance appropriates the sum of 200,000 from the general capital fund balance of the township for the purchase of a Jitney and OEM trailer. I'll make a motion uh, to, adopt, uh, to adopt ordinance 2023-06 as read by Madam Clerk with publication in the local source on March 23rd, 2023. Okay. Okay, with that being uh, said, I now <coughs> open Ordinance 2023-06 to public hearing. Uh, anyone from the public wish to speak on Ordinance 2023-06, please come to the microphone. Excuse me, name your, uh, state your name and address for the record. You'll have four minutes to speak. Seeing none, I'm going to close the public hearing portion of the meeting, uh, go on to discussion. Again, this is something we also talked about last month. I know that these are things that we are going to get almost entirely reimbursed for, and that's the great effort of our OEM and uh, for our CFO and also our um, administrator uh, to apply for and uh, receive funds for this uh, purchase. And we commend also anyone involved in getting the, applying for the grant should also be commended on their great work. Anyone else have any discussion about oh, this ordinance? We didn't, we didn't make a motion. Oh, did it? yes, we did. I'm, did I'm, we I'm, I'm, did. I'm looking on the first reading already. Roll call. <coughs> a Deputy Mayor Kaiser. Yes. Uh, yes. Committeeman Huber. Yes. Committee Woman Dubois. Yes. Committeeman Weber. Yes. Mayor Capitis. Yes. Okay, this is a first reading for Ordinance 2023-07, Bond Ordinance to authorize the making of various public improvements and the acquisition of new additional or replacement equipment and machinery in by and for the Township of Springfield County of Union, State of New Jersey, to appropriate the sum of 1185000 to pay the costs thereof, to make a down payment or fully fund appropriations from the capital improvement fund to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such appropriation and to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds Ooh. 
I will make a motion to adopt Ordinance 2023-07 as read by Madam Clerk. A fine job indeed. And with a publication in the local source on March 23rd, 2023, with a final hearing scheduled for April 11th, 2023. Excellent. Uh, discussion up here. Does um, Mr. Basicolo, would you mind uh, giving some rationale? or some context to uh, this ordinance, if you would, please. I would toss this one to our CFO, if I may, because she could tell you probably exactly what we put into this one. Excellent. After much discussion. Oh, thank you. I'll catch this quite nicely. Um, there was lots of discussion, um, as you are probably aware, that departments uh, submit their initial requests during the budget process. And this list is shaved down to items that are absolutely essential that need to be replaced within the year. And that includes road replacement um, improvements, um, roof, roof, the building, uh, building improvements uh, include a new roof, as well as machinery that is going to help us save a DPW, that's gonna help us save money for maintenance in the long run. There is fire equipment and OEM body camera equipment. And like I said, everything is pretty much critical and we tried to keep it list down to the bare minimum. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions from Ms. Sherry? No, no they, they were all smart investments that we had to make. So and we, and we, to the we bare cut <clears throat> one of them, we cut something out. We yeah. really tried to keep this down as low as we could. Excellent. Any other uh, questions, comments, discussion before I call for a roll call? No. All right. Hearing none. Roll call, please. Deputy Mayor Kaiser. Yes. Committee Min Huber. Yes. Committee Woman Du Bois. Yes. Committee Min Weber. Yes. Mayor Capitis. Yes. Uh, before I go through the resolutions on consent agenda, I would like to turn the committee's attention to resolution 2023-88. Um, I, after reading through the resolution and the uh, subsequent materials, um, I would I wish to table this uh, for the purposes of our attorney and our CFO to go review the resolution and the material contained within uh, to give us some further guidance on the calculations and the numbers um, <coughs> before we go and vote on it uh, and have the public hearing. Uh, in order for me to do that, I would need a motion uh, to table. Make the a motion to table resolution 2023-88. Second. Second. Do I need a roll call? Or <clears throat> I should do a roll call. Well, oh. Roll call, please. Deputy Mayor Kaiser. Yes. Committee Min Huber. Yes. Committee Woman Du Bois. Yes. Committee Min Weber. Yes. Mayor Capitis. Yes. Thank you. I'm now going to go through the resolutions on consent agenda. If you would like something pulled, please let me know. Uh, 20, resolution 2023-82, 83, 84, 85, 86. I'm gonna pull 87. I was gonna say that. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> uh, 89, 90. Do I have a motion, please? I'll make a motion to adopt the following resolutions on consent agenda. Resolution 2023-82, through resolution 2023-86 <coughs> and resolution 2023-89 and resolution 2023-90. Second. Second. Uh, okay. It was second by <laughs> okay. Roll call, please. Okay. Deputy Mayor Kaiser. Yes. Committee Woman Du Bois. Yes. Committee Min Huber. Yes. Mayor Capitis. Yes. Madam Clerk, could you please read resolution 2023-87 by title only, please? Yes. Explanation, this resolution authorizes the Senior Citizens Meeting Room at Chisholm Community Center will be known as the Margaret Bandrowski Meeting Room. Before discussion, do I have a motion? motion. I make a motion to adopt a resolution 2023-87 as read by Madam Clerk. Second, do I have a second? Second that. Excellent, who would like to go? I know we all kinda. I'd like to go first. Sure. Um, I remember when Margaret took over the seniors, a lot of you weren't here. It was in disarray. She brought it together. Uh, my mother-in-law was her treasurer. She brought money into the seniors group. She, they started having tr trips. They started having everything. They were doing nothing at one time. 
and she brought them back to where they are right now. Uh, you know, I think Margaret has been a lot for the community. I think this is the least we could do for her. So. I would say um, not even just speaking to what she's done for the seniors, I don't have uh, full working knowledge of that. I have more knowledge of just her dedication to the township in general. Um, I'm sure many people recall when I first ran, she and I ran as running mates, and that's the first time we met, and her commitment to the township and her passion for the history of this township. I know she was uh, deemed the oracle by my friend here, and it's just nice to be able to um, acknowledge somebody and give them this type of acknowledgement who's done a lot for the community. And she has done a ton for the community and I'm lucky to be able to call her a friend and I'm really glad that this is happening and I, I definitely hope that when she, you know, I hope this makes her smile and I hope she understands how well deserved this is. So I think it's just a great, it's a great thing happening. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh, when, when, when you get into office, you know, uh, you, you certainly don't do it for name recognition. No one's going to know any of us up here and let alone probably 10 years, let alone 20, 50, 100 years, right? Uh, we have a township of 100 years old over and, and, and no one knows the names of the mayors downstairs or, or or anything that they, they may have done. But you know of a lot of the work they do and a lot of the time that they put in in the efforts of building a great community at the end of the day. You might not know them by name, but you know their work. And no one runs for public office really for that, right? I, I, one of my favorite lines is, if you want adulation, you learn to go play the guitar. Uh, you, you, <laughs> you, you want people to love you, you, you could be a rock star. Go, go, go do something else. Uh, uh, that's not what we're up here to do. And Margaret embodies that. The, the time commitment that she has given to this town, the efforts that she has you know, put forth, the different initiatives that she uh, either worked on or, or, or gave the idea for, will long outlive her. And, and we're all very thankful for that. So when I first started, and I, I, I do say that I'm still fairly young, uh, but when I was younger, uh, Margaret was one of the first people that I talked to. And, and I'm very thankful in my life to have two uh, a, a loving grandmothers, uh, 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 and I'm very thankful for that, that, that loved me. But Margaret was also sort of that figure, at least in the political sense, and, and, and was always there to <laughs> offer her advice, uh, her encouragement, whether uh, 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 when you're on a campaign trail, it gets long, it gets hard, it's arduous, and 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 sometimes you need to be uh, uh, picked back up and, and and push forward. And trust me, she did it every time. When I didn't want to knock doors, she pulled. The, it, 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 she came up to my house and dragged me into the car. <laughs> when I you know got down from somebody who said, "Hey, I ain't voting for you, kid." She was there with encouragement. Uh, and said, hey, you can't get everybody. So when, when I say that, you know, in the most loving ways, Margaret was the third grandma. So Margaret, whether you're listening tomorrow or you're here, this is for you and all that you've done, so thank you. Uh, traditionally, <coughs> uh, when it comes to comments, the whoever is mayor normally goes laugh, but out of respect for Committeeman Weber, I will have him yeah, have- That's it. not true. That is not true. And Alex is normally, and I'll speak in the third person, is normally the anchor and has always been. <laughs> so as out of respect for committeeman Chris Weber, uh, I will let him have the final word because of his uh, relationship, obviously, to uh, Margaret. But for me, um, Margaret's commitment, dedication, passion for Springfield, community, the seniors, and Springfield's history is just quite simply unmatched. Um, her commitment to this town, her commitment to um, this community, 
um, is something that I treasure. Um, it is also, I am lucky that not only I got to know Margaret, Margaret uh, but my family knows Margaret as well. And uh, it's a joy to know her. It's a joy to have uh, many experiences with her, that she is uh, uh, very fond of this community. And her, her love of this town is, is infectious. And there is no one more deserving uh, to get this honor for this specific room uh, for the seniors uh, than Margaret. And uh, it's, it's a great honor and a privilege that we are, that, that we are allowed uh, to do this and to bestow this honor on such a genuine, genuinely caring individual. Ooh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, 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 Margaret, so when, when like, you get involved in something like this, that's a little loud, when you get involved in, in this politics thing, the, the last thing you want to do is just be a smarty pants and uh, walk in and sit up here and, and, and just, you know, think you have it all figured out. And there were two people I went to when I got elected. One is Linda Donnelly, who's still sitting up here with me. And I asked her what I should do. And the second one was Margaret, who we learned, we, we, we um, Alex, Alex and I took a crash course in a lot of stuff when we were campaigning that first time. And it was rough, because we were campaigning against a former mayor and a deputy mayor. And um, we went to Margaret, because I'm, I'm gonna so firmly say that Margaret knows everything. She, president of this historical society for a lot of years, along with uh, the chief, who's been part of that for years, decades, right? I guess at this point, long time. Um, and I would pick her brain as much as I could. And when something would come around the township, and I would look and I would say, you know, well, why is this like this? And, and she would come to me, uh, you know, and, and I, I don't want to mess the dates up, but I, I think she's lived here since either 47 or 49. So, she, since when? 56. 56? I think I think her family was here though since forty. Oh well, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I that's. Yeah, her family was here <clears throat> since forty-seven or forty-nine, I think, in the house that she lives in now. And um, I, I would go to her, and, and and she would lay it out for me exactly the way it was, and I would feel confident. Alex and I would be confident in what we were saying was was correct in as terms of why certain things weren't done or why certain things were just the way they were. On a binder with factual information to say here, read through it and make your own opinion on it. She I, had I, I have I have that stuff now. She gave me a a, a huh? bag, a, a case of of papers and things that she's collected over the years that I have that I go through. Um, I, the seniors, I I don't even know. You know, she got me involved in bingo with the seniors, and and you know, I call bingo. Um, times a month and they're a fantastic group of people um, I could probably sit here and talk forever about her you know the other day you know we went cruising around Springfield she had her first smash burger <laughs> which uh, she absolutely enjoyed she wanted to go to McDonald's but I said Margaret there are so many better places than McDonald's right now <laughs> and we went to smash burger and um, She's doing very well right now, and what I'm thankful for is that we're doing this room for her um, now. Too often, things are done after people are no longer here with us, and they don't get to enjoy it. And at this point, she is very much here, very much healthy, and very much uh, able to be part of all of this, and I look forward to uh, a formal ceremony with her there, mm -hmm. with her family being there, and uh, we love you, Margaret. Can I add one more thing that you guys all made me think as you were all talking quickly? Because if she ever watches this or just on the record, one thing I really respect about Margaret is her open-mindedness, mm -hmm. because a lot of times we get caught up when we're in different generations, different age groups, that 
oh, this person thinks this way because they're older than me and they lived at a different time and this is why they think. And one thing I always respected about Margaret is obviously we're from different you know, age groups and things like that, but her open-mindedness and her willing to listen to things that were things that were not necessarily talked about um, even a decade or two ago and things like that. I always respected that. And anytime I come across somebody who's of a different generation than me and they're open-minded, I really respect that. And that's one thing I've always taken away from being with Margaret and running with Margaret and working on projects for her is her open-mindedness and willingness to be open to things that sometimes you would think, oh, that person wouldn't think that way. And I just appreciate that. Doesn't mean we always agree on things, but I did always appreciate her being open-minded and listening to new things. And I think that's just one of her qualities that makes her you know, very worthy of having a room named after her in a place where she's committed so much of her time, so. You know, she, she was a deputy mayor here, and I, I think that under a different time, or a, a just a different, uh, different set of circumstances, you know, uh, she would have been sitting up here for a very long time, and I think people would have seen the, uh, like you said, the open-mindedness and fairness that she displays to, to everybody. There's nobody that she doesn't, so I agree with you. Excellent. Uh, great words from everybody. Definitely more to follow. Uh, ceremony forthcoming. Uh, we just have to set a date, but more information to follow. And with that, uh, roll call, please. Committeewoman Du Bois. Happily, yes. Committeeman Weber. We love you, Margaret. Yes. Committeeman Huber. Yes. Deputy Mayor Kaiser. Yes. Mayor Capitis. Well deserved. Yes. All right, Good. moving on to discussion and action items. Make a motion uh, for the request by the Springfield Unity Project to close North and South Trivet Avenues and use Town Hall Lawn for their annual David Mitchell Community Day on Saturday, September 9th, with a rain date of September 23rd, and we love David Mitchell. And it's second. It's nice that they were such good friends and to have this mm -hmm. follow up after Margaret's things. So it's kind of a uh, things mm -hmm. coming full circle. Of course. Great. All in favor? All Aye. 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 Uh, make a motion to discuss a request by Edward Walton School PTA for a $50 program credit from the Recreation Department for their annual basket auction on Friday, April 28th, 2023. <laughs> Similar requests have been approved by the committee in recent years with a limit of one credit per, PT, per school PTA per year. Second that motion. Okay. Roll call, please. Committee Woman Du Bois. Yes. Committee Man Weber. Yes. Committee Man Uber. Yes. Deputy Mayor Kaiser. Yes. Mayor Capitis. Yes. I make a motion to discuss and vote on a request by New York Blood Center, New Jersey Blood Services to hold a blood drive sponsored by the First Aid Squad at Chisholm Community Center on Friday, May 19th. Hold harmless attached and certificate of insurance is current. Second that motion. Roll call. Committee Woman Du Bois. Yes. Committee Man Weber. Yes. Committee Man Huber. Yes. Deputy Mayor Kaiser. Yes. Mayor Capitis. Yes. Um, I will just say that we had voted on to have that blood drive here at the last meeting, but the um, New York Blood Center felt it would be better to have it at Chisholm. Okay. All, right. All, right. All right. Finance. All right. I'll make a motion to, uh, to accept the payroll and invoices from the period of March 1st through March 14th, 2023, in the amount of $4,889,282.20. Second. Roll call, please. Deputy Mayor Kaiser. Yes. Committee Man Uber. Yes. Committee Woman Du Bois. Yes. Committee Man Weber? Yes. Mayor Capitis? Yes. Uh, seeing no correspondence, we're going to open up the meeting for public comment on any governmental issue. Anyone from the public wishing to speak on any governmental issue, please come to the microphone, state your name and address. Uh, for the record, you'll have four minutes to speak. <coughs> we will respond if applicable. <laughs> seeing not, yeah, please. Yeah, I would just like to comment on Margaret also. I mean, I've worked, known Margaret many, many years and worked alongside of her um, with the Historical Society. And as you said, like 
nobody else cares or knows more, cares more about the history of this town than Margaret does. Um, she's been a big inspiration to the kids. We've got the, the, the program with um, bringing them around to educate them with the, you know, Springfield's history, et cetera. Um, also, we work together uh, very well in bringing certain programs to the seniors she had asked for. Um, the medicine drop thing, we have a portable one we bring to the seniors. Uh, and also, she would uh, ask me to set up certain seminars to deal with crimes against seniors, so we would go and give seminars to the seniors about, and certain things to look out for. So she is an extremely caring person, I'm very happy for her, congrats to Margaret as well. Um, and then just real quick, and I swear I won't talk long, I just wanna thank you for the, for the you know, vote on the second reading. And then just to explain, explain one thing with that, again, it's a preparatory action. In 2012, I asked to increase it to 45 um, as a preparatory action. And for years from 2012, up maybe in five years into it, I didn't ask for a 40, we had 43, and I didn't ask for a 44th until I thought we needed it. Um, and we were prepared to do that, and we didn't have to, I don't want to say waste time, but we didn't have to go through any motions. Um, and now it's uh, 11 years later, and now, we, now am I asking for, for possibly a 45th. So again, it's a preparatory action, it's nothing, um, other than that, and it just helps us to be more efficient. When we do need something, we can act quickly on it. Um, and again, I, I can't hire anybody unless it's approved by the, the appropriate authority, which is the entire committee anyway. So it's, that's all it is, is preparatory, looking out for the future, considering what the town is going through. So I thank you for, uh, for passing that, I appreciate that. Thank you, Chief. Mm -hmm. One more time, public comment. Anybody wishing to speak? Seeing none, I'm gonna close the public comment portion of the meeting. And uh, we do have an executive session tonight. Madam Clerk. A resolution three. Finance. Finance. We, we did, did it. We did it. We wrote it. Okay. A resolution 314.23. Whereas Article 6 of the Open Public Meetings Act provides that a public body may hold a closed session. And whereas the township committee will, during this meeting, enter into discussion of the following matters, matters covered by attorney-client privilege, potential litigation, contract negotiation, and acquisition of real property, contract negotiation, public safety. <clears throat> whereas the matters to be discussed in closed session are to remain in the strictest of confidence by all township committee members in the furtherance of their fiduciary duties to the township. Now, therefore, be it resolved, matters discussed at this meeting will be released to the public when the reasons for discussing and acting upon them in closed session no longer exist. I have a motion? Motion. Second. All in favor? All in favor? All in favor? <laughs> Aye. All right, and we are not taking action, correct? Correct. All right. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. That when you get old. Oh, Rich. What I did to you is happening to the possible to the town. So that's why I said that I said to Cliff, you need to pull that or discuss it before you vote on it so we understand what our
I need one more person on the dais. I need one more person on the dais, please. Guys, I just need one more. Motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. Perfect. Thank you, folks.